So we're gonna make a couple extra pieces just so you can see the process. Another way to view all of the parts available is click on this button right here, Tab Manager. That will show me both parts and assemblies. So I'm gonna jump into parts. by right, going here. And I'm going to hit plus and let's make a new part studio. And we're gonna call this part studio or rename it. Let's make this 3x3L. So we're gonna start a part. As always, we're gonna start on, I'm gonna hide the tab manager. I'm gonna start by starting sketch on the front surface. I'm going to now take and make two rectangles. Um, actually, we're gonna use center point rectangles, but I'm gonna start them on the origin. I want the origin to be sort of where the L meets. So I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna do another one on this axis, and I'll make sure I touch those two corners together. Now, I know a couple things about these guys. First of all, I know that this, I'm gonna use the equals constraint, because I know this end and this end are gonna be equal. And I also, because I'm making a three by three, this is gonna be equal to this. Now, let's start putting some dimensions in. I know I always want to take and make this one inch, and I'm going to want this to be two inches long. So that's three, I'll give us three holes in each end. So I'm going to hit the checkbox because he's all black and done. I'm now going to extrude. I'm going to select both, all three squares, and do 0.2. And if I hit check, we should have our starting point. Now let's put our circles on. I'm gonna start a sketch on the front of there. Go view the front. I'm gonna put a circle on here and I want the circle to be on the origin. I'm gonna mention him to 0.166 or 165. And then we're gonna use our pattern tool again. And I'll highlight this guy and I want one going this way, one going this way. Oh, I want two this way. Oh no, we are. We want three this way, and we want three going this way. And we're going to also set this distance to 0.5 and 0.5. Now the trick here is when I hit OK, when I extrude, I only want to select these holes. I don't want this one, this one, this one, or that one doesn't really matter. And we want to make sure to remove depth all. And now I have a nice three by three piece. Again, I'm going to add some fillets, both external and internal. Quarter inch, 0.25. And now I have a nice elbow piece. I can check that. I'm going to rename the part one here. Rename this also 3x3L. So now I have an L piece and a rectangle. I can put these into my assembly. Let's make another piece. I'm going to make a T. So I'm going to start a new part in my part things. I'm going to create a part studio. And let's rename this. Let's make a three by three T. So rename three X three T. I'll start a sketch on the front surface. I'm going to look at the front surface. I'm going to start a rectangle. I know I want one rectangle sort of on there and I want another rectangle this way. And what do I know? Well, I know that the ends are going to be equal. That's going to be equal to this. I know coincident this corner here. Oh, I'm going to try it. This corner here is going to be on this line. I know that this length and this length are going to be the same because it's three by three again. So this line and this line are equal. And now I can dimension. I know this is going to be one inch and that this should be two inches, because that'll be three holes. Looks a little weird, but that's actually completely fine. I'm gonna hit checkbox. I'm gonna hit shift E for extrude, or click the extrude button. I'm gonna select all my rectangles. I should probably put it 
diagonally so you can see it. We're going to set the depth to 0.2. Checkbox. And I'm going to start a sketch on the front of this again. And I'm going to put a circle over here in a corner. I know he is dimensioned 0.165. And he is going to be a half inch from this edge, 5. And I'm going to then use my pattern tool, select him. I want to switch this direction. So I'm going to click that arrow. I want three, three that direction. And 0.5, three, 0.5. So there's my grid of holes. I'm going to hit the checkbox. And then I'm going to extrude, and I'm going to select just the ones I want holes, so just these five. I want to make them remove distance all. And then I'm going to hit check. And then we're going to fill it all the corners to 0.25. Now, you don't have to, you shouldn't make these parts because we should only have one copy of any given part. But these parts are probably not terribly useful because they're really small. You can very easily make the same thing, but like six by six or five by three or seven by two or whatever. You can make all different different shapes. The actual pieces are up to you. This is just building the naming scheme and the um, a couple of basic pieces so you have them. You can edit other fields parts, but only if they don't follow our standard. You want to make sure they follow our standard quarter inch fillets or whatever. If you have a specific weird part, you want to add a note in the name to say it's a weird part. So I've done my radiuses. Oop, I missed one angle. Hit check. And now I have my T bracket. Again, I want to rename the part over here too, because this is the part that'll show up when you assemble them. 3x3t. We're going to make one more part because this is probably the weird, the oddest part that you could possibly build, which is going to be a um, arc piece. So I'm going to make a new part. So plus, create part studio and rename. And naming for the arc seems a little different. It's going to be the number of holes. So I'm going to do five holes. And five hole arc with a radius, with the diameter, which we'll figure out in a second. So I'm going to start by creating a sketch, and we're going to make an arc piece. So I'm going to use the three point arc. So I'm going to go here, here, here. I'm going to do another arc. And then I'm going to do arc at the end of this. And an arc at the end of this. And what we can do is I'm going to set the use of some constraints. I want I know that I want the center point of this thing and this one to be the same, and the center of this to be on the center of my drawing. I also want the this to be horizontal to this, and this to be horizontal to this. And we can also use the tangent constraint. I know this should be tangent to this. This should be tangent to this. This should be tangent to this and this to be tangent. So it's all nice and smooth. Now, I'm not sure exactly the diameter, but I know dimension from this point here to this point here. Oh, I can sketch. I need dimension from this point here to this point here to be one inch. And I haven't decided the overall size. Maybe I'll make this. Um, Actually, I'm just going to leave this right now. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to just extrude it, and we'll fix it afterwards. So 
And again, thickness is 0.2. And I'm going to start a sketch on here. And I'm going to put a circle on that center point. And he's going to be 0.6 or 0.165. And now we're going to use the pattern tool, circular pattern, this shape. And the first question is how many holes? I want five. And the angle is 180 degrees. And then I'm going to extrude this guy. I'm going to extrude all these holes um, through here. Remove them uh, through all. And we're going to go back and set the overall size. I'm going to make this significantly smaller. So we're going to go to our sketch. I'm going to mention the outer size from this point here to this point here to be three inches. Uh, let's go. Four inches. Let's see what that looks like. Check. I'm going to go to extrusion two. The center point, I'm going to move the center point of this arc so it matches that. That looks much better. So now I have a five hole arc and the overall size was, we said, four inches. So I'm going to rename this document five hole four in. 180 dag arc. So arcs are going to be a little more complicated to name, but we have several pieces now. And again, I'm going to make sure I, I'm going to hit rename. I'm going to copy that name and I'll put it under the part, rename this part and paste. So that's a couple more pieces. Next video, I'll show you how to copy and edit one of my parts to make your own. And then after that, I'll have a video for setting up for laser cutting.